Happy birthday, Gemini, and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for the Gemini season, Astro Tarot Reading, where we're looking at what you need to know now about the shifting energies. So the sun entered Gemini on Friday, May 20th, and is there till Tuesday, June 21st, when the sun enters Cancer, kicking off the summer solstice. Now we had the new moon in Gemini on Monday, May 30th, which is a good time for setting new intentions. And then on Tuesday, May 31st, we have Mars entering Aries, its ruling sign. This is big energy shift, positive energy. So as we go through these energy shifts, I'm going to draw an energy card so we can check out that energy for you. And we start off with 10, Storm Warning. Okay, for some of you who live in the tornado belt, we are getting into tornado season. But storm watching is being vigilant, watching something, um, because something is about to happen. And that could have to do with Mercury stationing direct on Friday, June 30th because it doesn't leave its storm until Saturday, June 11th, when Mercury will bend conjunct with Uranus in Taurus. And Uranus is about shaking things up. It's about chaos. So I think that this card has a lot to do with that energy. And then on Wednesday, we have on June 8th, we have a grand trine with a Virgo moon, trining Capricorn Pluto retrograde, trining Taurus Mercury, again, your ruling planet. Now, this brings in a large dose of lucky vibes, but you have to act on it because trines can tend to make us feel very comfortable and we let opportunities pass by. Number 16, with patience for that. So watch and be patient during this time. And try to stay focused on romance with some of those lucky vibes. Because on Tuesday, June 14th, we have a full moon in Sagittarius at 7.52 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But that's going to T-square. Now, T-squares are challenges. Uh, between the Sagittarius moon, the Gemini sun, and a Pisces Neptune. This can leave you feeling a little groggy, left in the brain fog, where you might want to lie low and avoid arguments, especially with passive aggressive people who may drain you of your energies like an energy vampire, because they feed on that. And again, try to stay focused on positive energies. Okay, so we have 31 with door to value. Okay, so this could have to do with some arguments about the value of something, particularly the value of your time and what it is that you know, what it is that you do to bring, to make your money, how you show up in the world. And so on Sunday, June 19th, this is Father's Day, try to stay focused on romance with the Taurus Mercury sextiling the Pisces Neptune on Sunday, June 19th, Father's Day, which is also my sister's birthday. So happy birthday, sis. And then on Monday, June 20th, we have a Pisces moon sextiling Taurus Uranus, Taurus Venus, and Capricorn Pluto in retrograde. Now, if you want to know more about the Pluto retrograde energies, I would recommend that you check out the Astro Tarot readings regarding the Pluto retrograde I did earlier. Now, during this Pisces moon, we're going to have it conjunct Neptune in Pisces. Now, this is going to enhance friendly, heartfelt communications. 
Um, and then by the summer solstice, you're feeling confident, charismatic, and even a little extroverted here. And we have number 41 with the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. Okay, um, so there's going to be a lot of charming energy here, especially with Mercury in Taurus trining the Pluto in Capricorn. You could feel like you're going to meet the one. Now, this could be a romantic partner. This could be a friend. This could even be a business mentor because this Gemini season surrounds um, those subjects, romance, sociability, and business. So let's go deeper into this reading with the tarot. So we have this storm warning. Uh, this could be feeling some, you know, that energy shift, you know, because when things shift, things change. And sometimes those changes can feel uncomfortable. But you also are able to set some new intentions. Okay, so we have the chariot. This is around independence and power. And some storms can be extremely powerful. We also have that Mars in Aries energy in its ruling sign. That is big energy. This storm warning is big energy. And then we have the tower, which is much like this storm warning, big energy. Um, there is a big shift in your independence. Perhaps you're breaking down some walls, uh, breaking through the barriers, breaking through the corporate ceiling. There are breakthroughs where you are growing your energy. You have outgrown that mode that you have been in and the tower breaks and sets you free. Some truth can be revealed at this time. Okay, then we have the Knight of Chalices. This is some of that romance. The Knight of Chalices is very romantic. This could be asking you to be patient with your romantic partner who might, and you also might be feeling this, your mind is wandering around. There's that grogginess, you know, lost in the fog. And here we have the Empress. Okay, now this is saying, you know, while, you know, kind of keep to yourself, we do already have that energy. And stay focused on what it is that you're trying to create. We have three trump cards here, the Chariot, the Empress, and the Tower. To me, this is saying that you are, you have this independence finally. You have the power to be independent and you're breaking free of something where you can become um, a self-made woman. Now, the Empress is divine feminine energy. She's the archetype of mother. Uh, this is a general reading, so please only go with the messages that resonate with you. And then we have the Nine of Wands. Here you're setting up some boundaries, you know, to your value. You know, this is how much I'm worth. I'm not worth, I'm worth more than that and not a penny less. Okay, three of pentacles. Okay, with the nine of wands and the three of pentacles, this could be discussing pay raises, promotions, uh, job change, salaries, uh, because or contracts. What is it worth? What is the value of this contract? And how low are you willing to go? Um, and... I feel like that you are in an upward uh, movement where you're elevating. Okay, then we have the king of chalices, the king of romance. Here with the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, we have crown chakra. This is someone that you connect to spiritually, emotionally. 
So we do have that summer solstice energy with the uh, Mercury in Taurus trining with the uh, Capricorn Pluto retrograde where the, there is big permanent changes here in communications. And again, this could have to do with, uh, I feel more spirituality here with this Archangel Uriel and the Crown Chakra. Next we have the Hangman. Okay, this is part of that patience, waiting for the right time going deeper, thinking more about what it is that you need to do, preparing yourself for what is to come next, which is the Nine of Pentacles. This is very nice. This shows you, um, this is a self-made woman. Again, divine feminine. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. This has to do with something. And notice that she has her finger over her lips. This is something that you keep silent about. This could be an idea that you keep quiet about until you are ready to bring it out. And then we have the Four of Pentacles. Okay, this is financial stability and comfort. Uh, this is holding on to what you do have. But see, with the Three of Pentacles, we move into the Four of Pentacles. So I do feel like a contract is going to be signed if it's, you know, for business. And you'll want to wait until Mercury goes direct and possibly comes out of that storm. So, because there's a lot of romance involved here, let's check out the Love Oracle cards. I do feel like that your reading is just that. There's just a little bit of romance between the, you know, with the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. Um, this has you you know, has you or your partner kind of emotionally wandering, but you're centered within yourself. You're kind of staying within yourself. You're keeping your power to yourself until you're ready. But you have, until you have your boundaries, your personal boundaries that protect you in place, and that could involve some contracts. And again, we have this emotional. It feels almost like uh, some of your emotions might be uh, kind of in a standstill or possibly getting stagnant. And you need this Four of Pentacles, um, which is stability. But it can also be holding on too tightly to what you do have. Okay, for you, Gemini, we have... Uh, okay, lightning. Perfect with this storm warning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Well, that's that tower card in this storm warning. And you can feel it. You're sensing it. But you're not sure what it is. So you're kind of withdrawing into yourself, seeking shelter from the storm. And then we have stabbed in the back. Okay, watch out for those uh, backstabbers, especially in the workplace. This is heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, a shocking attack. That could be why this hangman is here, the shock. You're just, I, I you know, you're at a standstill. You, and with the four of pentacles, it's like, okay, I need to meditate on this. I need to uh, ground myself. But here we have the Nine of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. So you're going to be financially all right. Uh, there seems to be some kind of shock 
it doesn't necessarily have now I feel like that there's more of an emotional loss here, an emotional heartbreak. You're disappointed that somebody stabbed you in the back, somebody that you trusted. This is why keep your secrets to yourself, Gemini. Okay, now let's get into the moon magic because we do have the new moon and the full moon in this Gemini season. And here's your artwork. And we have the waning gibbous. Failure is only learning. I move with confidence and resilience. Okay. Now, it could be a fall through of plans, a fall through on contracts, and it leaves you kind of reeling. It's like, uh, what just happened here? This could also have something to do with romance too. It could be the disappointment of a partner. Uh, somebody cheated on you. Again, this is a general reading, so please only go with the messages that resonate with you. But there, you feel betrayed. Okay, and your starlight eternity. Give yourself permission to slow down. Because if you don't slow down, your health will cause you to slow down. We do have the hangman here, which is kind of a still standstill with the king of cups. So this is kind of an emotional standstill. So it's okay to slow down, meditate, regroup yourself, regather yourself. And I really feel like that the four of pentacles is more of re-establishing yourself after this disruption here that occurs in the beginning of the Gemini season. Okay, let's see what your sweet dreams are because summer solstice is midsummer's dream, if you will. So here we have abundance. I am blessed and with and thankful for the abundance in my life. That's that four of pentacles. That's you uh, being grateful and feeling blessed by what you do have. Okay, let's conclude your reading with a heart and soul card. is your artwork. I like the duality of it because Gemini, you represent duality. Okay, you're afraid to let go of something that is no longer working for you. That's why you got the storm and this lightning and the tower card. Um, and here, because you're afraid of failure, but failure is learning. Success is built on a pile of failure. Keep that in mind. There is a deep sense of duty or guilt, and you feel like you don't have a choice. The reality is that you do, and ultimately doing what you know feels right in your heart will be best for all concerned. So be patient with yourself. Give yourself permission to slow down. Be patient with yourself and um, take that time to settle in with who you are because you do have value. The door of good fortune is opening for you. So perhaps this big change, which might be an emotional disappointment or a financial setback somehow or both, this is a general reading. Uh, it's allowing for transformation to occur. And it's asking you to be patient 
while you go through this transformation. And then the door opens for you and you feel like you've grown because we have this crown chakra energy. I feel like that a great lesson has been learned for you and you have your angels, your guardians about you, helping you, protecting you, uh, keeping you safe and secure. You know, it might not be as much as what you once had, but it's enough to be safe and to be comfortable. And doing what you know feels right in your heart will be the best thing you can do for everyone, especially yourself. And after this being stabbed in the back, you probably do need to withdraw and because it's shocking. It took you by surprise. You were not expecting it. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it helpful and beneficial. And remember, you are blessed. Till next time, take care.